Most languages of Europe belong to the Indo-European language family. Out of a total population of 740 million, as of 2010, some 94% are native speakers of an Indo-European language. Within Indo-European, the three largest phyla are Slavic, Romance and Germanic, with more than 200 million speakers each, between them accounting for close to 90% of Europeans. Smaller phyla of Indo-European found in Europe include Hellenic Greek, c. 10 million, Baltic, c. 7 million, Albanian, c. 5 million, Indo-Aryan, Romani, c. 1.5 million, and Celtic, including Welsh, c. 1 million. If c. 45 million Europeans speaking non-Indo-European languages, around 20 million each fall within the Uralic and Turkic families. Still smaller groups, such as Basque and various languages of the Caucasus, account for less than 1% of European population between them. Immigration has added sizable communities of speakers of African and Asian languages, amounting to about 4% of the population, with Arabic being the most widely spoken of them. Five languages have more than 50 million native speakers in Europe, Russian, German, French, Italian and English. While Russian has the largest number of native speakers, more than 100 million in Europe, English in Europe has the largest number of speakers in total, including some 200 million speakers of English as a second language. Indo-European languages the Indo-European language family is descended from Proto-Indo-European, which is believed to have been spoken thousands of years ago. Early speakers of Indo-European daughter languages most likely expanded into Europe with the incipient Bronze Age, around 4,000 years ago, Bell Beaker culture. Slavic Slavic languages are spoken in large areas of Central Europe, Southern Europe and Eastern Europe. An estimated 250 million Europeans are native speakers of Slavic languages, the largest groups being Russian, c. 110 million in European Russia and adjacent parts of Eastern Europe, Russian forming the largest linguistic community in Europe. Polish, c. 55 million Ukrainian, c. 40 million Serbo-Croatian, c. 21 million Czech C 11 million Bulgarian C 9 million Slovak C 5 million Belarusian and Slovene C 3 million each and Macedonian C 2 million Phylogenetically Slavic is divided into 3 subgroups West Slavic includes Polish, Czech, Slovak, Lower Sorbian, Upper Sorbian and Kashubian. East Slavic includes Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, and Russian. South Slavic is divided into Southeast Slavic and Southwest Slavic groups. Southwest Slavic languages include Serbo-Croatian and Slovene, each with numerous distinctive dialects. Serbo-Croatian boasts four distinct national standards, Bosnian, Croatian, Montenegrin and Serbian, all based on the Eastern Herzegovinian dialect. Southeast Slavic languages include Bulgarian, Macedonian and Old Church Slavonic, a liturgical language. Romance Roughly 225 million Europeans, primarily in Southern and Western Europe, are native speakers of Romance languages, the largest groups including French, c. 76 million Italian, c. 65 million Spanish, Castilian, c. 40 million Romanian, c. 25 million Portuguese, c. 10 million Sicilian, c. 5 million, also subsumed under Italian Catalan, c. 4 million Galician, c. 2 million Sardinian, c. 1 million Occitan, c. 500,000 Besides numerous smaller communities. The Romance languages are descended from varieties of Vulgar Latin spoken in the various parts of the Roman Empire in late antiquity. 
Latin was itself part of the otherwise extinct Italic branch of Indo-European. Romance is divided phylogenetically into Italo-Western, Eastern Romance including Romanian and Sardinian. The Romance-speaking area in Europe is often referred to as Latin Europe. Italo-Western in turn has the sub-branches Italo-Dalmatian, sometimes grouped with Eastern Romance, including Tuscan-derived Italian and numerous local Romance lects in Italy as well as Dalmatian, and the Western Romance languages. The Western Romance languages in turn separate into Gallo Romance, including French and its varieties, Longs de Oil, the Reto Romance languages, and the Gallo Italic languages. Occito Romance, East Iberian, grouped with either Gallo Romance or West Iberian, including Occitan, Catalan, and Aragonese. West Iberian, Spanish Portuguese, including Astorleanese languages, Galician Portuguese, and Castilian. Germanic the Germanic languages make up the predominant language family in northwestern Europe. An estimated 200 million Europeans are native speakers of Germanic languages, the largest groups being German c. 95 million, English c. 65 million, and Dutch c. 22 million, Swedish c. 10 million, Danish c. 6 million, and Norwegian c. 5 million. There are two extant major subdivisions, West Germanic and North Germanic. A third group, East Germanic, is now extinct. The only known surviving East Germanic texts are written in the Gothic language. West Germanic is divided into Anglo-Frisian, including English, Low German and Low Franconian, including Dutch, and High German, including Standard German. German and Low Franconian German is spoken throughout Germany, Austria, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, the East Cantons of Belgium, much of Switzerland, including the northeast areas bordering on Germany and Austria, and northern Italy, South Tyrol. There are several groups of German dialects. High German includes several dialect families. Standard German Central German dialects, spoken in Central Germany and include Luxembourgish High Franconian, a family of transitional dialects between Central and Upper High German Upper German, including Austro-Bavarian and Swiss German Yiddish is a Jewish language developed in Germany and shares many features of High German dialects and Hebrew. Low German including Low Saxon is spoken in various regions throughout northern Germany and the north and east of the Netherlands. It is an official language in Germany. It may be separated into Low Saxon, West Low German, and East Low German. Dutch is spoken throughout the Netherlands, northern Belgium, as well as the Nord Pas de Calais region of France, and around Dusseldorf in Germany. In Belgian and French contexts, Dutch is sometimes referred to as Flemish. Dutch dialects are varied and cut across national borders. Anglo-Frisian the Anglo-Frisian language family is now mostly represented by English Anglic, descended from the Old English language spoken by the Anglo-Saxons. English, the main language of the United Kingdom, also used in English-speaking Europe. Scots, spoken in Scotland and Ulster. The Frisian languages are spoken by about 500,000 Frisians, who live on the southern coast of the North Sea in the Netherlands and Germany. These languages include West Frisian, Satterlandic, and North Frisian. North Germanic, Scandinavian. The North Germanic languages are spoken in Scandinavian countries and include Danish, Denmark, Norwegian, Norway, Swedish, Sweden and parts of Finland, or Elfdalian, in a small part of central Sweden, Faroese, Faroe Islands, and Icelandic, Iceland. English has a long history of contact with Scandinavian languages, given the immigration of Scandinavians early in the history of Britain, and has similar structure with Scandinavian languages. Other Greek is the official language of Greece and Cyprus, and there are Greek-speaking enclaves in Albania, Bulgaria, Italy, the Republic of Macedonia, Romania, Georgia, Ukraine, Lebanon, Egypt, Israel, Jordan and Turkey, and in Greek communities around the world. 
Dialects of Modern Greek that originate from Attic Greek through Koine and then Medieval Greek are Cappadocian, Pontic, Cretan, Cypriot, Katharevisa, and Yavanic. Italiate Greek is, debatably, a Doric dialect of Greek. It is spoken in southern Italy only, in the southern Calabria region as Grecanic, and in the Salento region as Greco. It has been studied by the German linguist Gerhard Rolfs during 1930s and 1950s. Siconian is a Doric dialect of the Greek language spoken in the lower Arcadia region of the Peloponnese around the village of Leonidio. The Baltic languages are spoken in Lithuania, Lithuanian, Samogitian, and Latvia, Latvian, Latgalian. Samogitian and Latgalian are usually considered to be dialects of Lithuanian and Latvian respectively. There are also several extinct Baltic languages, including, Galindian, Koronian, Old Prussian, Salonian, Semigallian and Sudovian. Albanian has two major dialects, Tosk Albanian and Gheg Albanian. It is spoken in Albania and Kosovo, neighboring Republic of Macedonia, Serbia, Greece, Italy and Montenegro. It is also widely spoken in the Albanian diaspora. There are six living Celtic languages, spoken in areas of northwestern Europe dubbed the Celtic nations. All six are members of the insular Celtic family, which in turn is divided into Brythonic family, Welsh, Wales, Cornish, Cornwall, and Breton, Brittany, Goidelic family, Irish, Ireland, Scottish Gaelic, Scotland, and Manx, Isle of Man. Continental Celtic languages had previously been spoken across Europe from Iberia and Gaul to Asia Minor, but became extinct in the first millennium AD. The Indo-Aryan languages have one major representation, it being Romani c. 1.5 million speakers, introduced to Europe in the late medieval period. The Iranian languages in Europe are natively represented in the North Caucasus, notably with Ossetian. Armenian speakers came to Russia in significant numbers after the First World War due to Armenian genocide and dissolution of the Ottoman Empire, see below. Non-Indo-European languages Uralic Uralic is native to northern Eurasia. Finno-Ugric groups the Uralic languages other than Samoyedic. Finnic languages include Finnish and Estonian. The Sami languages are closely related to Finnic. The Ugric languages are represented in Europe with the Hungarian language, historically introduced with the Hungarian conquest of the Carpathian Basin of the 9th century. The Samoyedic Nenets language is spoken in Nenets Autonomous Okrug in the far northeastern corner of Europe, as delimited by the Ural Mountains. Turkic Oghuz languages in Europe include Turkish, spoken in European Turkey and by immigrant communities, Azerbaijani is spoken in Azerbaijan and parts of southern Russia and Gagaz is spoken in Gagazia. Kipchak languages in Europe include Crimean Tatar, which is spoken in Crimea, Tatar, which is spoken in Tatarstan, Bashkir, which is spoken in Bashkortostan, and Kazakh, which is spoken in Kazakhstan. Ogre languages were historically indigenous to much of Eastern Europe, however, most of them are extinct today, with the exception of Chuvash, which is spoken in Chuvashia. Other the Basque language or Euskara, is a language isolate and the ancestral language of the Basque people who inhabit the Basque country, a region in the western Pyrenees Mountains mostly in northeastern Spain and partly in southwestern France of about 3 million inhabitants, where it is spoken fluently by about 750,000 and understood by more than 1.5 million people. Basque is directly related to ancient Aquitanian, and it is likely that an early form of the Basque language was present in Western Europe before the arrival of the Indo-European languages in the area in the Bronze Age. North Caucasian languages is a geographical blanket term for two unrelated language families spoken chiefly in the North Caucasus and Turkey. The Northwest Caucasian family, including Abkhaz and Circassian, and the Northeast Caucasian family, spoken mainly in the border area of the Southern Russian Federation, including Dagestan, Chechnya, and Ingushetia. Kalmyk is a Mongolic language, spoken in the Republic of Kalmykia, part of the Russian Federation. 
Its speakers entered the Volga region in the early 17th century. Maltese is a Semitic language with Romance and Germanic influences, spoken in Malta. It is based on Sicilian Arabic, with influences from Italian, particularly Sicilian, French, and, more recently, English. It is unique in that it is the only Semitic language whose standard form is written in the Latin script. It is also the smallest official language of the EU in terms of speakers, and the only official Semitic language within the EU. Cypriot Maronite Arabic, also known as Cypriot Arabic, is a variety of Arabic spoken by Maronites in Cyprus. Most speakers live in Nicosia, but others are in the communities of Kormakiti and Lemesos. Brought to the island by Maronites fleeing Lebanon over 700 years ago, this variety of Arabic has been influenced by Greek in both phonology and vocabulary, while retaining certain unusually archaic features in other respects. History of standardization Language and identity, standardization processes In the Middle Ages the two most important defining elements of Europe were Christianitas and Latinitas. Thus language, at least the supranational language, played an elementary role. The earliest dictionaries were glossaries, i.e., more or less structured lists of lexical pairs, in alphabetical order or according to conceptual fields. The Latin-German, Latin-Bavarian, Abrogans was among the first. A new wave of lexicography can be seen from the late 15th century onwards, after the introduction of the printing press, with the growing interest in standardizing languages. The concept of the nation-state begins to emerge in the early modern period. Nations adopted particular dialects as their national language. This, together with improved communications, led to official efforts to standardize the national language, and a number of language academies were established, e.g., 1582 Academia della Crusca in Florence, 1617 Fruchtbringend Gesellschaft in Weimar, 1635 Académie Française in Paris, 1713 Real Academia Española in Madrid. Language became increasingly linked to nation as opposed to culture, and was also used to promote religious and ethnic identity, e.g., different Bible translations in the same language for Catholics and Protestants. The first languages for which standardization was promoted included Italian, question della lingua, modern Tuscan, Florentine versus Old Tuscan, Florentine versus. Venetian Modern Florentine plus Archaic Tuscan plus Upper Italian, French, the standard is based on Parisian, English, the standard is based on the London dialect, and High German, based on the dialects of the Chancellery of Meissen in Saxony, Middle German, and the Chancellery of Prague in Bohemia. Common German. But several other nations also began to develop a standard variety in the 16th century. Lingua Franca. Europe has had a number of languages that were considered linguae francae over some ranges for some periods according to some historians. Typically in the rise of a national language the new language becomes a lingua franca to peoples in the range of the future nation until the consolidation and unification phases. If the nation becomes internationally influential, its language may become a lingua franca among nations that speak their own national languages. Europe has had no lingua franca ranging over its entire territory spoken by all or most of its populations during any historical period. Some linguae francae of past and present over some of its regions for some of its populations are Classical Greek and then Koine Greek in the Mediterranean basin from the Athenian Empire to the Eastern Roman Empire, being replaced by modern Greek. Koine Greek and Modern Greek, in the Eastern Roman or Byzantine Empire and other parts of the Balkans south of the Jorachek Line. Bulgar Latin and Late Latin among the uneducated and educated populations respectively of the Roman Empire and the states that followed it in the same range no later than 900 AD. Medieval Latin and Renaissance Latin among the educated populations of Western, Northern, Central and part of Eastern Europe until the rise of the national languages in that range, beginning with the first language academy in Italy in 1582-83, New Latin written only in scholarly and scientific contexts by a small minority of of the educated population at scattered locations over all of Europe, ecclesiastical Latin, in spoken and written contexts of liturgy and church administration only, over the range of the Roman Catholic Church. 
Lingua Franca or Sabir, the original of the name, an Italian-based pidgin language of mixed origins used by maritime commercial interests around the Mediterranean in the Middle Ages and early modern age. Old French in continental Western European countries and in the Crusader states. Czech, mainly during the reign of Holy Roman Emperor Charles IV 14th century, but also during other periods of Bohemian control over the Holy Roman Empire. Middle Low German 14th, 16th century, during the heyday of the Hanseatic League. Spanish as Castilian in Spain and New Spain from the times of the Catholic monarchs and Columbus, c. 1492, that is, after the Reconquista, until established as a national language in the times of Louis XIV, c. 1648, subsequently multinational in all nations in or formerly in the Spanish Empire. Polish, due to the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, 16th-18th centuries. Italian due to the Renaissance, the opera, the Italian Empire, the fashion industry and the influence of the Roman Catholic Church. French from the Golden Age under Cardinal Richelieu and Louis XIV c. 1648, i.e., after the Thirty Years' War, in France and the French colonial empire, until established as the national language during the French Revolution of 1789 and subsequently multinational in all nations in or formerly in the various French empires. German in Northern, Central, and Eastern Europe. English in Great Britain until its consolidation as a national language in the Renaissance and the rise of modern English, subsequently internationally under the various states in or formerly in the British Empire, globally since the victories of the predominantly English-speaking countries United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and others, and their allies in the two world wars ending in 1918, World War I, and 1945, World War II, and the subsequent rise of the United States as a superpower and major culture cultural influence. Russian in the former Soviet Union and Russian Empire including Northern and Central Asia. Linguistic minorities Historical attitudes towards linguistic diversity are illustrated by two French laws, the Ordonnance de villers cotterets 1539, which said that every document in France should be written in French, neither in Latin nor in Occitan, and the LOI Tubin, 1994, which aimed to eliminate Anglicisms from official documents. States and populations within a state have often resorted to war to settle their differences. There have been attempts to prevent such hostilities. Two such initiatives were promoted by the Council of Europe, founded in 1949, which affirms the right of minority language speakers to use their language fully and freely. The Council of Europe is committed to protecting linguistic diversity. Currently all European countries except France, Andorra and Turkey have signed the Framework Convention for the Protection of National Minorities, while Greece, Iceland and Luxembourg have signed it, but have not ratified it. This framework entered into force in 1998. Another European treaty, the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages, was adopted in 1992 under the auspices of the Council of Europe. It entered into force in 1998, and while it is legally binding for 24 countries, France, Iceland, Italy, Macedonia, Moldova and Russia have chosen to sign without ratifying the convention. Scripts The main scripts used in Europe today are the Latin and Cyrillic. The Greek alphabet was derived from the Phoenician alphabet, and Latin was derived from the Greek via the Old Italic alphabet. In the early Middle Ages, Oum was used in Ireland and runes derived the Old Italic script in Scandinavia. Both were replaced in general use by the Latin alphabet by the late Middle Ages. The Cyrillic script was derived from the Greek with the first texts appearing around 940 AD. Around 1900 there were mainly two typeface variants of the Latin alphabet used in Europe, Antiqua and Fraktur. Fraktur was used most for German, Estonian, Latvian, Norwegian and Danish whereas Antiqua was used for Italian, Spanish, French, Polish, Portuguese, English, Romanian, Swedish and Finnish. The Fraktur variant was banned by Hitler in 1941, having been described as Schwabacher Jewish letters. 
Other scripts have historically been in use in Europe, including Phoenician, from which modern Latin letters descend, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs on Egyptian artifacts traded during antiquity various runic systems used in northern Europe preceding Christianization, and Arabic, during the era of the Ottoman Empire. Hungarian rovas was used by the Hungarian people in the early Middle Ages, but it was gradually replaced with the Latin-based Hungarian alphabet when Hungary became a kingdom, though it was revived in the 20th century and has certain marginal, but growing area of usage since then. European Union the European Union, as of 2016, had 28 member states accounting for a population of 510 million, or about 69% of the population of Europe. The European Union has designated by agreement with the member states 24 languages as official and working. Bulgarian, Croatian, Czech, Danish, Dutch, English, Estonian, Finnish, French, German, Greek, Hungarian, Irish, Italian, Latvian, Lithuanian, Maltese, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Slovak, Slovenian, Spanish and Swedish. This designation provides member states with two entitlements. The member state may communicate with the EU in the designated one of those languages and view. EU regulations and other legislative documents. In that language, the European Union and the Council of Europe have been collaborating in education of member populations in languages for the promotion of plurilingualism. Among EU member states, the joint document, Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, Learning, Teaching, Assessment, CEFR, is an educational standard defining the competencies necessary for communication and related knowledge for the benefit of educators in setting up educational programs. In a 2005 independent survey requested by the EU's Directorate General for Education and Culture regarding the extent to which major European languages were spoken in member states. The results were published in a 2006 document. Europeans and their languages. Or. Eurobarometer 243. In this study, statistically relevant samples of the population in each country were asked to fill out a survey form concerning the languages that they spoke with sufficient competency to be able to have a conversation. List of languages The following is a table of European languages. The number of speakers as a first or second language L1 and L2 speakers listed are speakers in Europe only, see list of languages by number of native speakers and list of languages by total number of speakers for global estimates on numbers of speakers. The list includes any language or dialect with an ISO 639 code, this means that some communities of speakers within a macrolanguage may be listed more than once, e.g. speakers of Austro-Bavarian listed both separately, under bar, and subsumed in the total given under German, De. Immigrant communities Recent post-1945 immigration to Europe introduced substantial communities of speakers of non-European languages. The largest such communities include Arabic speakers, see Arabs in Europe, and Turkish speakers beyond European Turkey and the historical sphere of influence of the Ottoman Empire. See Turks in Europe. Armenians, Berbers, and Kurds have diaspora communities of c. 1 to 2 million each. The various languages of Africa and languages of India form numerous smaller diaspora communities. List of the largest immigrant languages see also ethnic groups in Europe Eurolinguistics European Day of Languages Multilingual Countries and Regions of Europe Travelingua Notes References External links Everson, Michael 2001. The Alphabets of Europe, Evertype.com. Retrieved 19 March 2010. Harman, Harold 2011. Europe's Mosaic of Languages. Institute of European History. Retrieved 2 November 2011. Reisman, Stefan, Argador, Urian, 2006. Luingoi in Europa, in Esperanto, English, and German. Reisman and Argador. Archived from the original on the 22nd of June 2009. Retrieved 2 November 2009. Map of Minorities and Regional and Minority Languages of Europe, Language Diversity, 2017, Zikin, Mutor, 2007. Europaco Mapa Linguisticoa, in Basque, Muterzikin.com. 
Retrieved 2 November 2009.